Hello? For whatever reason, whenever I looked this up book in... What? <laughs> At least one photograph for every... Oh wow, you just can't... You can't even see the text. <laughs> and the last movie we saw in 1977. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not time travel. And if I did time travel, I wouldn't go back to 1977. Alright, so like I said, kind of a want want collect. <coughs> Every cradle. And the action scenes are great. That final sequence with. with Philip and the, the dragon? With. yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I wonder if I film like this, would you guys be able to hear me? <laughs> oh, hello, hello. I probably butchered that. Oh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the Mega Nulons here, that's the Mega Nula in the larva stage, are actually monsters we've seen before in 1956's Rodan. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my voice there. Go ahead and share your thoughts on the movie in the comments below. I look forward to reading them. And then I'll see you next time. Bye! Stick it right there. Nope, just stick it right, just stick it right there. Just stick it right, stick it right there. That's good. And besides, this movie is already over two hours. It's 129 if you subscribe. Subscribed. Why do I keep saying subscribed? Movie number two is Stolen Face. I don't know why I'm smiling. <laughs> movie number two is a creepy film called Stolen Face. <laughs> Gary Cooper and Carol. Gary Cooper and Carol Lombard co star with Gooper. <laughs> Gooper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As a smart secretary who gets tangled up with the problems pl <laughs> Movie number six. Nope, it's movie number five. In that instead of one scene... Isn't it instead of one scene? <laughs> yes. Now, oops. <laughs> movie number... <laughs> I just... This is a Jane Eyre video, not a what else I saw video. What am I doing? And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! What is this? <clears throat> Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the Andrew Lloyd Webber super what? <laughs> Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the Andrew Lloyd Webber fan of fan oh my goodness. Wow, okay, just calm down. Fun fact, I once listened to this song on repeat for about an hour in the middle of the night in a hotel room when I was trying to lull myself back to sleep and drown out the sound of my parents snoring. Mothman, Mothman, ugh. Well, I knew that was going to happen someday. I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you thought of any of the movies. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What? Hey, you know, I edit my own videos, and sometimes you're like, Oh, that's terrible, but I can't go back and film it again. It's a cute, heartfelt romance with death. <laughs> I, saw some sim I saw some thematic similarities with We Have Always... I ha I saw some simulatic th I saw some thim- <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> Cinematic similarities. <sighs> In response, the anti-megalosaurus forest- <laughs> I knew that I was gonna end up saying that. The anti-megalosaurus forest. They should have just called it that, it would have been better. The main theme is actually one she debuted in Godzilla vs. Megamemememememem. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! In fact, there are quite a few nods to that movie here, like the twin larvae. Larvae? Larvae? Larvae. <laughs> what? Suitmation or bust? And this excellent shot of Kiryu. And this excellent shot of Kiryu. Ro
and this excellent shot of Kiru rolling. Hello everyone! If you're watching this video, then you know what it's time for! Another Jane Eyre adaptation comparison. Oh my goodness, could not be more low energy if I tried. <sighs> okay. Jane talks... <laughs> what? The attention to detail is so great that it's downright shocking when this version leaves out what many may consider to be the central event in the whole section. Jane's deathbed. Darn it. <laughs> I can't see. I can't, I can't see. 1958's The Fly was in color. The next year was... He played Prince P He played Prince Park. He played Prince Park. He played Prince Park. He played Prince Park. He played Prince Prospero in The Mask of the Red Death. Another highlight, another hi another highlight is the movies. Another highlight is the movie. What is that clicky noise? Fun fact, Vincent Price returned for a short but sweet cameo appearance as the, uh, as the Godzilla. Oh my goodness. I do not feel the same way about Dracula that I feel about Jane Eyre. Let's put it that way. Nah. <laughs> Share your thoughts on any of the movies that I mentioned in the comments below, keeping them spoiler-free if possible, please, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! <coughs> Let's do that again. Bye! 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 I'm getting to the point where I have to practice my buys because when I just go into it cold, it's either hoarse or squeaky or too long. <laughs> uh, um, that was a really good movie. Um, he gets to play dual characters. And, and I... <sighs> okay, so let's back up a bit. If you don't know, Key Largo is set on one of the... <laughs> it's set on Key Largo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, what? Pfft. I don't want to see Jimmy Stewart like that. He's a national treasure. That was the most identifiable bone. We couldn't really tell the difference between a femur and an ulna. Anyway, to make a long review... <clears throat> Hello, everyone! According... But, in an amazing serendipitous twist, a couple weeks ago, I got a notification on my Twindle at about 3 in the morning. And that's a wrap on Jerome Weaselberry's Embarrassing Moments of 2019. I have so many things I want to share with you in the upcoming year, plus I'm sure there'll be a lot of unplanned things as well, and I look forward to having you along with me for the ride. I know there are a lot of things going on with YouTube right now, a lot of changes, a lot of unknowns, and I'm hoping that everything will work out alright, and that I can keep making videos for you all. As this year draws to a close, and it has been a very good year, I have so many blessings to be thankful for. I want to express my gratitude to each and every one of you for being there, for being such a loyal audience. You guys are faithful and just really nice and kind and thoughtful, and for providing feedback, whether it was liking my videos, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Ugh, the comments, I I would not continue if, if I didn't have you guys there with me. It, I just, I don't say it as often as I should, but I want to take this opportunity now to let you know that what you give back to me is invaluable and so greatly appreciated. You're the best. I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and I want to wish you a Happy New Year. I will definitely be back soon with a new video. Until then, as always, thanks for watching.